Chia is a food that has become very popular in recent years, because of its numerous health benefits. These seeds, native to Central America, have long been the basis of food for people who lived in that region, and it is not by accident, chia has five times more calcium than milk which makes it ideal for those who are lactose intolerant or for vegans. It has more antioxidants than blueberries. It is three times richer in iron than spinach, and it contains twice as much fiber as oats. In addition to providing a lot of energy to the body, its consumption increases muscle strength and endurance, contributes to weight loss, satisfies hunger, and lowers blood sugar. However, not everything about chia is beneficial. It also brings some risks along with it. In today's video we'd like to talk about those risks, in an article published by Dr. Rebecca Rall on the American College of Gastroenterology website, she explains that chia has the ability to expand up to 27x its size. For this reason, those who suffer with reflux or have problems swallowing should avoid consuming it. It's also important to be careful to eat the seed only after they expand. The growth of it inside the body causes problems in the esophagus. Blood pressure is also a health problem that should be taken into consideration by chia lovers, because the seed greatly reduces blood pressure. If you eat chia seeds regularly, make sure that your blood pressure is normal. Some medications may also interact negatively with chia, causing serious problems. Diabetics should also be on alert since chia has the ability to reduce blood sugar. Because it's high in fiber, it's very useful for those who suffer from constipation. Therefore, those who suffer from diarrhea should avoid it. After hearing these tips, don't think that chia is a bad food. It's quite the opposite. Knowing its risks and how it interacts with your body, you can eat it correctly and take advantage of its benefits. What about you? Do you like to eat chia? How do you prepare it? Leave us your opinion in the comments.